Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a written message from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, concerning the strong fraternal relations binding the two brotherly countries in addition to Gulf issues. The custodian of the two holy mosques expressed his wishes to continue consolidating joint GCC action and supporting Arab and Islamic causes to achieve progress and prosperity for the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa congratulated winners of the Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for the Bahraini doctor, expressing pride in their achievements in the field of scientific research and their dedication in performing their noble duty. The Premier also congratulated his court's Under Secretary and Head of the General Secretariat of the Award, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, on his management of the award and the success of the General Secretariat's efforts in organizing the award, hailing its high administrative and organizational efficiency. His Royal Highness praised the competitiveness and wide turnout by Bahraini doctors to present their scientific researches. He affirmed that scientific research is the foundation of development for advanced societies, adding that the government is keen on supporting such efforts, particularly in the field of medicine, given its vital importance in advancing the medical services provided. His Royal Highness underscored the efforts of Bahraini female doctors who won both categories of the award, which reflects their leading role in the medical field, among others. He highlighted the support and patronage of of his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Bahraini women during his reign and the government's keenness on reinforcing the role of women as an effective partner in the march of development. Through the award, His Royal Highness reiterated his keenness on expressing appreciation to all Bahraini doctors. He added that highlighting the distinguished models in medical scientific research reinforces the efficiency and sustainability of services provided in the healthcare sector. The Premier wished Bahraini doctors further progress and success. He emphasized that celebrating and honoring doctors reflects the appreciation of their humanitarian efforts and their immense contributions to society. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to frontline medical workers combating the coronavirus who are working on maintaining the health and safety of citizens and residents. He also expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts of the award general secretariat and jury members in organizing the award and evaluating the research submitted. A press conference was held at the court of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to announce the winners of the Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for the Bahraini Doctor at a value of $200,000. The award is an initiative by His Royal Highness the, Prime, the Premier Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in appreciation of the efforts of the medical caters to motivate them in the field of medical and clinical research. The jury has announced the names of the winners to the awards General Secretariat led by the Under Secretary of the Royal Court of His Royal Highness the Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. On this occasion, he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness uh, the Premier for his keen interest in highlighting the efforts of the National Medical Caters, praising his initiative to launch the award, which aims to highlight the efforts of Bahraini doctors in appreciation of their efforts and vital role in serving the community. He congratulated the winners of the award's first and second categories and expressed pride in the level of medical research it submitted, which covers vital topics including the winning research in the fields of infection control and the theoretical and practical training for health workers. He added that the second category of the award is dedicated to pioneering doctors who had a distinct influence on the Bahraini healthcare sector. Its aim is to express appreciation to doctors who have dedicated themselves for their country and profession over the past years. Sheikh Mohammed also expressed thanks and appreciation to the members of the jury for their continuous efforts to assess the work submitted. During the press conference, which was attended by the Minister of Health and Chairwoman of the jury, Faiqa bin Saeed al Saleh, and the President of the Arab Gulf University and jury member, Dr. Khalid al Ohali, and the President of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, Bahrain, the RCSI, and jury member, Professor Samir Thum, the winners of the award were announced. The winner of the first category, Innovation, Creativity in Clinical and Medical Research, is the consultant of infectious and internal diseases at Salmania Medical. Medical complex, Dr. Jamila Mohammed Al Salman. The second place was shared by consultant family physician and associate professor in family medicine at RCSI, Dr. Ghufran Ahmed Jassim, and family physician and director of the public health department at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Najat Mohammed Abu Al Fatih. 
The winner of the second category of the award is Family Physician Assistant Undersecretary at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Maryam Ibrahim Al Hadri. The Minister of Health expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness, the Premier, for his initiative to launch this award and to designate a day to celebrate Bahraini doctors, which reflects his support to the national medical caters. For his part, Dr. Al Ouhali expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness, the Premier, for launching the award. Professor Al Artoum also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness, adding that it reflects the Premier's support to the health and medical fields in the Kingdom. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and President of the Coordination, Execution and Follow-up Committee, Issa Tijaba, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the Istijaba Committee meeting, which was held remotely and was attended by all its members. His Highness welcomed the efforts exerted by the committee through coordination with the government authorities concerned to implement the recommendations, plan and programs of the committee in line with the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for human Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness was then briefed on the topics discussed on which the committee made the following decisions. Assigning the University Hospital for Sports Medicine as the authority responsible for sports medicine in the Kingdom. Coordinating and cooperating with the relevant ministries to present an integrated plan outlining the distribution of new sports and school facilities. Coordinating with the Ministry of Education to devise a plan to develop physical education. Obtaining the approval of the Coordination Committee and the medical team on the proposed ant antigen test protocol. Presenting the final plan for the Open League. His Highness also directed to communicate with the authorities concerned to organize an event for food trucks. He urged everyone to continue their efforts to implement the programs that contributed to developing the sports and youth movement in the Kingdom. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia Zainal, chaired the third session of the Council during the third session of the fifth legislative term. The Council approved the formation of a committee to prepare a reply for the Royal Address by His Majesty the King. It also approved the memberships of the Executive Committee of the Parliamentary Division. The Council presented the nominations list for membership in the Council Standing Committees. It also approved several urgent proposals and referred them to the Government. Education Minister Dr. Majid Ali Naimi chaired the Abdullah bin Khalid College for Islamic Studies Board of Trustees meeting. The attendees praised his match the King's decision to establish the Abdullah bin Khalid College for Islamic Studies, a great achievement that will serve the educational process in Bahrain. The college is named after His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, who is known for his Islamic and humanitarian achievements. The Board of Trustees selected Dr. Sheikh Abdul Latif Mahmoud Al Mahmoud as Vice President of the Board and viewed a presentation on the college's functions, departments, specializations and student admission process. The board was also assured about the measures taken during the coronavirus pandemic. The members were also shown a design of the college and departments, classrooms and various facilities. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Zayani, participated remotely in the Arab Brazilian Chambers of Commerce virtual meeting held under the patronage and in the presence of the Brazilian President, uh, Gier Bolsonaro, with the participation of delegations from the Arab League, Arab Chambers of Commerce, as well as experts and businessmen from both sides. The Minister delivered a speech in which he expressed appreciation to the Brazilian President for organizing the meeting to enhance cooperation between Arab countries and Brazil in light of the global repercussions of the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. He affirmed that the pandemic has changed many concepts and beliefs and has made several economic, social and cultural changes. He noted that the economic effect of the pandemic and the precautions taken by the world countries to contain the virus will have a lasting global effect for years to come. He stated that the pandemic highlighted that international cooperation and effective participation are the only and optimum way to achieve a perpetual prosperity. He affirmed that the world must realize that prosperity based on joint interests and interdependence is the foundation for sustainable peace, security and stability. He noted that commercial and economic cooperation will be the main engine for the desired global recovery. Zayani affirmed that the principles of dialogue, cooperation and participation have always been among the basic principles of the politics of Bahrain based on the vision of His Majesty the King, which is based on promoting true understanding and trust between people as well as constructive cooperation. 
He highlighted that these principles continue to define the way the kingdom deals with various and major issues, the last of which was the signing of the historic declaration to support peace between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel, which led to the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries and the signing of agreements regulating joint cooperation. He noted that the kingdom is confident that the step it has taken towards a new Middle East is based on cooperation rather than confrontation, integration rather than conflict, and peace and coexistence which helps find a solution for the decades-long Palestinian-Israeli conflict and paves the way towers joint efforts to achieve peace, stability and prosperity for the region's countries. He stressed that this path could create new opportunities to increase trade activity and exchange among the region's countries and to harness the potential of the youth and natural resources in the region to achieve lasting prosperity and development throughout the Middle East. The minister expressed confidence that Arab and Brazilian companies will be at the forefront of those eager to seize the new opportunities, highlighting the kingdom's support to this approach, which would bolster international cooperation facing all global challenges, including the COVID-19 pandemic. The capital governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, launched today the sixth Manama Entrepreneurship Week, being held remotely with strategic partnerships of Al Ahli United Bank. The governor highlighted the importance of further empowering youth to keep up with the requirements of the current phase, affirming support to entrepreneurs and innovators to continue their work during these challenging circumstances. The event, which targets 5,000 participants from Bahrain and Abrab, comprises of 25 workshops and seminars, which will be presented by more than 50 leading local and international experts. The event will address the future of online financial systems, eco-friendly entrepreneurship and the purpose of cybersecurity considering the rise in digitalization and telecommuting. The governor affirmed that the current situation because of coronavirus hasn't been a hinder in the organization of the uh, governance of pioneering programs and projects aiming to develop the skills and capabilities of youth for the welfare of society and the nation. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,237 with 363 recoveries, 322 registered new cases and three deaths. 97 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 213 are contacts of active cases and 12 are travel related. The deceased were a 60 and a 78 year old female citizen and a 87 year old male citizen. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased. Furthermore, it urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.